something that's a little embarrassing for me. Last episode, we talked about linebacker three for New Orleans. Who's it going to be? Is it Zach Bond? Is it Anferny Orgy? I didn't even mention Jalen Smith, which is terrible. The guy's a former pro bowler with Dallas. And the Saints signed him earlier in August, on August the 11th. He's entering his seventh NFL season. This was a big pickup. Like, I'm watching that game against the Chargers on Sunday, and I'm like, who is that? Who is this guy I'm not talking about? Oh, it's Jalen Smith, dummy. This guy was making plays, man. He's covering dudes one-on-one. -on -one. He's swatting passes. He's hit-sticking dudes. Like, this is a player that will make you turn your head. And it's a player that should show out against what was mostly backup players playing for Los Angeles. When you're a pro bowler, a former All-American in college in Notre Dame, you should stand out against the pack. And he did that. So Jalen Smith is your certified linebacker three. He got my stamp of approval. I I've seen enough from this guy. He's put up massive stats before. Had 120-plus tackles between his second and fourth seasons in Dallas. That's three different seasons of really high-end production. But then in 2021, he didn't play as much, only had 18 tackles. And then he moved around from Dallas to Green Bay to New York. And he played well in New York last year. Had 46 tackles in a sack as well and 11 starts with the Giants. So he really proved that his better days are not behind him. In fact, he might still be in them, only entering his seventh season. And at linebacker, there's a lot of wear and tear on your body. But he was a high-level athlete. And... What the Saints need is someone that can just fill in and rotate, I think, at that linebacker three spot. And if Pete Warner or Demario Davis go down, someone that can go in and play a bigger role too when called upon. And I think Jalen Smith can definitely do that. He can hit, he can run support, and he can cover one-on-one. -on -one. High-level athlete. Showed it at Notre Dame, showed it at Dallas. He's shown it now in New Orleans. And you need someone that you know can get the job done. Zach Bond is a wild card. And Fernie Orgy, the rookie, wild card. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, you might make plays in practice. You might make plays in a preseason game. But when the bright lights are on, the pressure is on, you're playing for your job. You're playing for wins that ultimately you hope lead to playoff appearances and Super Bowl championships. You need to know that the guys in the field, all 11 of them, are capable of doing the job that needs to be done to be successful. And Jalen Smith fits that description. The other guys that were battling for the job before... I don't think they fit that description. So, Bond and Orgy might be guys now playing for a spot on the team. Because this front office and this staff in New Orleans took initiative. Went out and found someone that could play ball. And Smith was a great find. Someone who people think probably just popped off in his first couple of seasons in the league and is starting to fall off. But he's trying to prove that he can still play ball. And he wants to play for years to come. So he needs to have a big year this season to prove to New Orleans and maybe some other teams if they're interested that he deserves another contract and another three, four years in the NFL. So he's motivated. He's got the pedigree. He's got the production to match that as well. And Jalen Smith is a huge add for the Saints. I think he's going to have a big season for New Orleans, especially if he's called upon due to injury or even just in a rotational role to go in and cover somebody, to go in and get a tackle, go in and get a sack. He can do it all. So I'm really excited to see what Smith can do for the Saints this year. And my question's answered in terms of who's linebacker three. So I won't utter the words Zach Bond or Inferni Orgy or even linebacker three again for a long time after doing it way too much for the past two weeks. Two-word answer, John. Jalen Smith. There you go.